In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have come to Bethlehem. We have come to the manger scene. That place which is so full of opposites and contrasts. The greatness of Almighty God. The smallness of the child Jesus. The weakness, the feebleness of the newborn baby. The strength and power of the Almighty. The poverty, the dirtiness of the stable at Bethlehem. The eternal dwelling place of the divine word in the glory of heaven. The simplicity of those first worshippers, Our Lady and Saint Joseph, who had few possessions to their name, the rustic shepherds, the animals, then comparing this to the majesty of the choirs of angels who are singing sweetly and robed in splendour, and together with Our Lady and the others, worship the newborn baby, God made man. How many of our Christmas carols and poems love to play on this theme of the contrasts. You'll find it in so many of our favourites. In the bleak midwinter, O come all ye faithful, see amidst the winter's snow, once in royal David city, they all have, they all focus in on these contrasts. Here in the manger is God, who has taken a human nature. Here he is. But at the same time, he is so completely unlike everything we might have expected of God. God, who is all-knowing, all-powerful, eternal, infinite in majesty. God surprises us. He surprises the world. He chooses not to appear in his grandeur as a ruler, as a mighty king, but as a tiny helpless child. There are many high theological truths that we can draw from the mystery of the Incarnation, many concerning our redemption and concerning the price of our salvation. But there are also smaller truths, simpler truths, truths that the contrasts of the carols, the Christmas carols, capture so purely. God wants us to realize in the baby Jesus the pathway, the way of life that leads to him. Smallness, simplicity, humility. God does everything by design and never by accident. A very basic truth of Bethlehem, perhaps so much on the surface that it is easy to overlook, is that we can only meet Almighty God the only way we can find his salvation is by becoming small as well. But for us, in fact, becoming small is acknowledging the truth, recognizing what we are not. We are not God. But if we want to be like him, this is the way. In Bethlehem today, in the town in Palestine, in the West Bank, there is a great, great basilica, an enormous church, which is built over and surrounding the little cave where our Saviour was born. But surprisingly, if you're looking for a grand doorway, a large set of doors where great processions can file into, you won't find one. If you want to get inside this ancient of churches, one of the oldest churches in the world, you have to stoop down to bend your head and maybe your shoulders and pass through a door which is only four feet tall and two feet wide. That is the only way in, the door of humility. That's what it's called, the door of humility. And it's the only way in if you want to reach that holiest of all places where our dear Saviour was born. If you want to meet Jesus, you have to become small. To realize your own weakness, your mortality, your insufficiency, your imperfection, your sinfulness. The name Jesus means Savior. That's what he is. That's who he is. That's what he came to be for each one of us. To realize that you need a Savior, that you're, you're like a little baby, that takes humility. 
to get down on your knees before the baby in the manger and to confess that he is that saviour. To join the shepherds and the animals and Mary and Joseph, it takes humility. It also takes faith because he doesn't look like God. He doesn't look like much of a saviour. He doesn't look like, like he is the one who can take away our sins and shed light on all our problems and fears. The nativity scene is so full of contrasts and opposites. Greatness, smallness, glory, humility, divinity, humanity. Oh Lord God, give us that simple faith to see that you are there, to meet you there. Give us faith to see you in your smallness and to realise that you are calling us to become like you, to let go of pride, to let go of materialism, to let go of self-sufficiency. Help me to accept you as my saviour, O baby Jesus, to confess my sinfulness and to adore you with faith when you appear in your littleness at Holy Mass this evening under the appearance of bread. Help me to realize you are there and that you have come to save me. Change me to become like you. Help me to become a little child once more, to enter through the door of humility and find salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.